want to start this video off? Tell the people what we're doing here, Rye? Huh? You just want to sit in the sun and be live rent free. <laughs> That's fair. What's going on, guys? And welcome back. As you can see from the title and the thumbnail of this picture, uh, video, it is studding day, uh, sponsored by Woody's Traction Products. Only the best traction products in the world get put on our side. So we have Benito here with us today. We have a whole plethora of Woody's products and we have two sleds that we need to stud. So big topic in the snowmobile world is studding. And I get questions all the time about stud length and what should I use and what's the best pattern and X, Y, Z. And it really boils down to what are you going to be doing? What is your, your goal for your sled? So luckily here today, we have my sled that we're gonna be studying and we have Nito's sled that we're gonna be studying. I have clearly been riding for forever, I race professionally. Nito is a beginner and uh, that's actually very good. <laughs> it's very good that we have this separation because we're gonna talk about something and not to mention that both sleds have a 1.325 Cobra track on them, which is the big topic of conversation. It's a very popular track throughout the Woody's uh, or the, the Polaris lineup. So if you go on Woody's website, they have uh, Woody's hookup traction. You can literally put in your year, make, model, uh, what size track, everything like that. And it will tell you or recommend kind of carbides or amount of studs, et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of times when people go on and they put their Cobra track in there, it, it comes up that you spend a 1.325 stud, which people are like, well, that's the size, that's the length of the actual lug on the track. So it turns out, and this little plan, pamphlet from Woody's tells you all about it, but the 1.352 track is actually a 1.25. The only thing that makes it a 1.3 are these little nipples on the top of the lugs. Okay, but the majority of the track, like these entire lug, is just the one and a quarter. So that's why they recommend a 1.325. So then people are saying, oh, well, you know, that's still not really that long because, you know, they want three eighths maximum penetration. Well, the stud length, so if you go for from stud length, that's overall stud length, and then stud series, that's where it kind of gets confusing. So if you go to a 1325, the overall length of the stud is actually 1.74. So it's the length stud series, it goes from the backing plate to the tip of the carbide. So it's not, the stud is longer than what you're thinking it is. So anyway, for 1352 uh, Cobra, they do recommend what we have here, which is the 135. It uh, doesn't matter what series, they're all the same length. Uh, in this case, we're doing triggers on Nito sled. So again, because he's a beginner and he's just kind of looking for that uh, safety factor, and again, you still get great performance out of it. We're going to go with the 135 or 1325 studs for his sled. And then coming over to my side of the table, because we're looking for a performance based stud, we want a little bit more penetration. I've been working with uh, Rick from Woody's on this. You know, we're going to go with the 145. So we're going to get a little bit more penetration. We're probably going to have about a half inch over the lug. And uh, that'll give us just a little bit more performance. But that is Woody's recommendation. I know I'm going to get a lot of grief on that. People are going to say, oh, you could go longer. This is what Woody's recommends. And that's what we are going with. So the other thing that you could do if you had any questions, you could call their tech line. Um, you could call, someone will answer, or you have 24-hour email uh, assurance. You could also get one of these pamphlets, which are really good. It's hard to open with one hand. Nino's going to help me. Goes over all the different studs, all the different carbides. Pretty great. So that being said... Woody's recommends a 1325 stud for a 132 or 52 Cobra. But for the performance people, the guys that are going to be racing, drag racing, you know, and want that extra penetration, we're going 145s. So, with that being said, and again, this is all preference, they also have, you know, your stud, uh, your stud template. So this is a, a 286 pitch template. Two ply because that's what both of these sleds are. Player's tracks are two ply tracks, and these sleds just happen to be 286. If you have an XER, it's a 2.52 pitch. So you kind of go through, you figure out, you know, which one you're gonna do. Like for me, I'm doing all singles, I'm doing three per row. So 100, it's gonna be 153 singles on a 146 track. So this it says mark all O's, B's, and X's. So we'll go through, pull all them out, and mark it, which we have. 
marking pen. And we have socket. And we have track driller. And we have stud holder for the backside, which I'm gonna do a whole nother video on all the, the Woody's accessories because I have even more stuff that I'm not, this is just a stud video. So we're gonna start by putting uh, stud protectors in or tunnel protectors in because you need them if you're running studs. So we're gonna go ahead and put them in at least Nito sled. I am gonna be pulling the rear suspension on mine. So I don't think I'm gonna worry about them right now. I will not run it without tunnel protection. We're just kind of trying to get through. So we're gonna throw them in his. We gotta take his flap out off um, so we can stud. And then we're gonna start marking and drilling and we'll kind of pick you guys up and show you what we're got going on. Okay, we have Nito's tunnel protectors in. I did a video which I'll post here about how to put these in, but they are all in. So we're gonna get this back up on its own two feet and uh, start marking tracks. That's where the fun starts, right, Rye? <laughs> She wants to be involved all the time. Yeah, chicken. And we are getting ready to mark. So again, I'm doing on my assault boost, three per window, three per lug, whatever you want to call it, which ends up being 153 singles. Um, some guys do double singles. Uh, Woody's, Rick from Woody's, again, we're kind of been working together the last bunch of years. And uh, he would like me to run three singles. He thinks that's kind of the best all around performance for uh, kind of what we're doing. And again, they do recommend at least three studs per row for a boost. Uh, short track stuff or naturally aspirated stuff, I should say, um, two per lug or two per row is kind of what they want. I know, again, guys are gonna disagree with that, but that is what Woody's recommends. So that is what we're going for. So we open up all O's, B's and X's and we're gonna go through and mark all of these. And again, obviously some of the letters are gonna correspond with other ones, but mark all O's, B's, and X's. So that's what we went with. So we're gonna mark it and then start drilling. What you doing? Oh, you know, just marking for my studs. Who, me? Not <laughs> just hanging, hanging around. around. So I'm all marked up. I started drilling and placing studs in while Nito went and marked all his. He was all O's and B's, so we already popped them out. I think we explained that earlier, but I can't remember. So he just went O's, B's, O's, B's. So he's all marked. Um, <clears throat> we have one drill and two batteries. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see <laughs> how long it, it makes it. This, this Milwaukee drill has done, I couldn't even tell you how many of these tracks. A lot of guys use electric ones, but I'm a battery guy. So uh, we're just gonna keep chugging along here. Like I said, and if you guys didn't know how to do the math, and like I guess in the pamphlet, uh, it explains, or on the the, uh, the template, it explains how many, but like if you came in here, uh, track length, depending on what pitch it is, and then how many studs, and then it gives you that. But if you didn't know how to do this, if you had just say 146 inch track, like my assault is, and it's a 286, you do 146 divided by 2.86, that'll give you how many windows, and then you just multiply by how many studs you want in each row. So I went white backers this year, and uh, Nito to finish off his black and orange, he went orange, which should look really good. So we're gonna get a couple of them in and then show you guys what they look like. And just like that, we have studs in, <laughs> six of 96 and nine of 153, but we just wanted to see the color. I really like that orange. That orange that Woody's provides is a dead ringer, obviously, for the uh, Polaris orange. And the white, obviously, is just white. <clears throat> now, there are way different, you know, there's many different backers that they make. They make square ones, round ones. Uh, round is probably most possible. They make double diggers, too, you know, double backers. Uh, they make different studs and backers for single ply. They're a little bit bigger. Um, obviously, single ply is not as strong. But uh, <clears throat> pretty much the round ones are really aesthetically pleasing and they come in a bunch of different colors. The black or the square ones are also come in uh, colors. And uh, once we get these tightened in, I'm gonna talk to you guys about um, what torque spec it is and then when to retorque and recheck it. Cause that is something that is a hot topic and guys are like, oh, I threw a stud or this stud came loose. You know, what do I do? Or how can I fix this, et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna touch on all that here in a little bit. We're just gonna kind of put our phones down and, and just get to drill and we're gonna hand the drill back and forth and see how long it lasts, so. But coming along, big shout out to Woody Studs as always. 
Nito's on uh, rubber ball control. Because if not, the dog will eat them all. We're getting close. Obviously there, and studs are right there. So I'm probably three quarters of the way. Let's see where Nito is here. Probably give or take pretty close. Then we'll go through and tighten them all, but with one drill and whatnot, we've just been sharing, moving along. You learning, Nito? I'm learning. I'm <laughs> yeah, got some liquid encouragement going on. Help us with the monotony. Scratch lines, scratch lines. Scratchies. Shoe Billy. We're done drilling, putting them in. The only thing we gotta do is tighten them now. So we're getting close to the tail end here, but this is kind of where I wanted to touch base. And like I said uh, a little bit earlier about kind of how tight. So on two ply tracks, um, the correct torque is 22 foot pounds. Um, that you wanna tighten them to. One ply is actually 30 foot pounds. So now, pretty simple, you go through, you tighten them with a torque wrench. <clears throat> cool, done. Well, the shop is 69 degrees, okay? So this rubber is expanded, you know, cause it's warm in here. Well, then you're gonna take your sled out and you're gonna go and put it in 10 degree temperature. Um, you're gonna let it sit overnight. And what's gonna happen to that track? It's gonna go from this uh, thickness to that thickness. And all of a sudden that 22 foot pounds is not quite 22 foot pounds anymore. So after your first ride, first hundred miles or so, you gotta go through and retorque them. Obviously if you could do it in a colder environment, it's gonna be the better um, because your track is gonna be a little bit smaller, but that is pretty much a big thing when it comes to studying. And now, yes, that is a lot of work because there's, you know, my sled, there's 153 and Nito's there's 96. So that's a lot of times that you gotta go back through and do it but it's much better than potentially having a pullout because the stud came loose. Um, now these, these I already tightened, these are still loose. So <clears throat> I, I never really thought about it that way until I started working with Woody's and me and Rick were kind of in conversation and it's like, wow, that is a really good point. You know, it's just like air pressure, anything. Anything that is cold, it's gonna shrink. So yes, guys, you gotta go back through. You have to uh, retorque them because it's just, you know, it's physics. I don't even know if that's physics, but track's gonna sh shrink up and uh, it's going to shrink. So again, I'm running the 145s. So we got about a half inch penetration. I don't have anything flat. Once I tighten them all through, I'll show you guys a little bit better. And then on Nito's, we have the 135s on a 135 track. Again, it's only an inch and a quarter track. It's not actually a 135. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna tighten them for the first time of a couple times. And uh, try and wrap this stud job up. A couple days later, we never finished the video out that night, but we are all tied up, we're all done. Uh, Nito sled and my sled are done. They look fantastic. Uh, just such awesome products from Woody's. I really cannot thank them enough for all the support that they give me and Bruce and uh, you know the channel in general. Um, from studs to all their accessories, <clears throat> which again, we're gonna do another whole video on. I mean, all the way down to a, like a paint pen, it's just crazy. Uh, we got some signage, a big sign up there. We gotta hang this one up somewhere, but uh, pretty awesome. So kind of takeaways from this video. Uh, one, three, five Cobra tracks are really a one, two, five. Um, so when you go and you see the, on Woody's, uh, if you talk to the tech line, or if you go on their hookup guide, which I told you is online, it's gonna tell you 1325, and that is because the track is actually not that big. So actually what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and show you, and again, it's hard with one hand here. So you can see the penetration that you're actually getting on, on the 1325 studs. I'll come over to mine, which are the 145s, and you can see some more penetration. So, again, 145s, if you're kind of like a performance-oriented shop or a rider, or you want to go and drag race your buddies and whatnot, 145 is what Woody's is recommending, which again is what I'm running. Um, just gives you a little bit more penetration than the 1325s. 
<clears throat> um, aside from that, retorque your studs after you get them out into the cold. Uh, again, two plies are 22 foot pounds. One ply is a 30 foot pounds. So that's really it, guys. You know, it's not it's not crazy rocket science here. Uh, make sure your stuff's tight and uh, torqued down. Make sure that you got the right stud for the right track. And uh, that's really it. But I seriously cannot thank Woody's enough for everything that they do. I know I said that a bunch of times in this video, but they've just been uh, above and beyond since we started the channel. And they're just continuing to support and, uh, and help us out every which way possible. So that is going to do it for this video. We will have another video of all the accessories that Woody's has that they offer. Um, for, but for right now, uh, we're all studded. We're getting close to... Uh, getting some snow that we could be potentially riding here in the next few weeks. So we'll see. But either way, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.